Hi guys, so training starts now. Uh, we're in the car as you can see. Um, Taylor's driving. We definitely Sakai. kidnapped him, so. Yeah, we fine. kidnapped him. Um, <laughs> you know, you gave us permission. Um, <laughs> uh, but, anyways, we're on our way to the lakefront. Um, he's very relaxed in the back seat. Um, I'm actually rewarding him. Wait, there you can see him. Um, I'm actually rewarding him every time he gives me eye contact. Just got like a nice car warm up. Obviously, you can't do this while you're driving, but if both of you are in the car, this is something that you can start doing when you're on your way to somewhere. Uh, the other thing we're doing is it's about the time that churches are letting out. So, a lot of people out and about. I know every once in a while, Riley barks at people out the windows. Uh, he's been doing much better with this, as you guys have said, um, but he did huff a few times when someone was really close to the car. So what I'm actually doing is warming up with eye contact and then I'm clicking every time he looks at someone through the window um, and just tolerating it. Um, and this really like all you can do is you we're just kind of heat, heating them up before we get outside of the car. But the car is actually a really great training space um, in terms of being able to control your environment because he can't get out. Um, Another thing is that it was teaching him to actually calm down the car. I know with a dog who has severe car anxiety to the point where she sometimes will bark to get out of the car. So we also want in calmness. Yeah, calm. He's laying down right now behind mm -hmm. me. We love this. So we're gonna get Skip and Trace being a good boy good and just boy. staying calm, which is which is a precursor to him not barking. Because if he was up and looking out the window and huffing and stuff like that, he's already predisposed to bark. Meanwhile, he's laying down. He's calm behind me. He's calm. He's chilling out. He's just panting real cool. He's not like the bark and stuff like that. That's why we like to yep. see this right here. Cool. All right, and we'll keep you guys updated. So what? Are Good. All right, so we have an accumulation of people right here. Yes, looks like they're having a little shindig. It's a shindig. Yes, shindig. And uh, here's Mr. Man. We have him at a very far distance, allowing him to observe. Just watch what they're doing. It does seem like we're really far away, and we are. But make no mistake, Riley is fully aware of everyone that's around. He's also pulling in their direction. So even though this is a really far distance, we know that we shouldn't be getting any closer quite yet until we have all that focus back on us. And we know that he's distracted because he's not checking in as much as he was over there. He was checking in all the time, right? He's not checking in at all. Good boy, yay! So when he finally does check in, we're going to reward him heavily for that. Good boy, yay! I'm also rewarding him two things. Him engaging and that reaction, also him disengaging. So you can't really over treat this this is a good boy yes that's so boy. vital just so you guys know is again you cannot over treat this there's no such thing we're hot wiring his brain so that he's not reacting anymore towards his trigger so we got to make sure that we really make it worth his while this is not a leash walking exercise he knows how to walk on leash Remember, we're just trying to get rid of those fears so that you can actually see all your work on the leash come to light without him, you know, messing it up. All right, so now Taylor's getting significantly closer to these people, still remaining safe distance. A lot of check-ins, very, very important. There's kids running around right here, and he just checked in, so that's great. Again, guys, today's purpose of the exercise is counter conditioning. We're not necessarily telling him to leave it because we don't want him to leave it, unless, of course, he's going into a fit. But the purpose of today's exercise is really just giving him the opportunity to observe the things that have scared him before. We have a gentleman walking in our direction, so we're going to go ahead and increase some distance. Good boy, Riley. Good. Good. And there's another gentleman standing right there. Good. Yeah, just using basic kibble right now, which is great. Good boy. 
Good job. And again, just rewarding him for engaging and not reacting. And he is pulling closer towards that direction. So again, he's fully aware of what's going on. And we're walking through some marshes right now. It's fine. This is fine. Do for the dogs. Oh, it's all about her, so. Oh yeah, I know you're in the. Don't drink it. Let's go. Come on, come on. We were walking. To, so we were walking towards this bench, which is in fact not a bench. Perspective. It's all about perspective. I feel lied to. All right, this lady is now walking her dog, which we know that it's going to be significantly more difficult. I'm just going to have him watch. Notice that we're not asking him to walk right now. He's just observing and, and remaining stationary. Now we're going to have him move. We know that adding movement is a little bit more difficult. This lady's having a full-fledged photo shoot with her dog and some flowers. Yeah. We're actually wrapping everything up. Um, we're actually making our way back to the car. Going to hit the sidewalk. And as you can see now, he's wearing his muzzle. Uh, we did this on the tail end just because we don't want to do it too much. But we want to give you guys the option of having him walk. Uh, 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 you got to leave it. Come on. Come on, Riley. Come on, Riley. Let's go. Good. We want to give you guys the option of having the muzzle during walks as well. Um, since you know that he suffers mostly with his reactivity on leash, it would be nice. Um, to kind of give you guys a little bit of peace of mind, a little bit of a shortcut. Um, so again, we're only using this on the way back to the car. He's literally going to have this on for maybe five minutes. Um, and we're just going to see how he does and how this influences potentially his reactivity um, or doesn't influence it, which is which is hopefully what we're, we're aiming for, is that he doesn't feel the need uh, to be as re reactive. Um, but either way, it is just a safeguard, a good thing to practice so that he knows that when he's walking, he can wear it. And also when he's existing in your home with guests, he also wears it. He's doing really good so far, staying engaged, still taking treats. He is very tired now. So the fact that we, he's, he's still in it is, is actually really good news. Significantly closer. 